All right, welcome to my guide on transversal velocity. That is a nerdy term that we'll discuss in a minute. But first, let's pay homage to my Kronos. That's right, 425 millimeter Tech 2 railgun loving, three mag stabs, a couple of hardeners, energized adaptive nanomembrane, an armor wrapper, three cap rechargers, and an afterburner. Note that I don't have not a single, not one, tracking enhancing module on this ship. Uh, and the reason why is I know how to shoot things. I don't miss. I don't need a module to help me because I never miss to begin with. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do that too. It's really simple. Uh, and this tactic is especially good for uh, the Galenti Marauder, which is the Kronos that I'm in, or any of the Megatron based ships. Uh, they have a high bonus to their tracking to begin with. Uh, but this tactic will work in any gun based ship. All right? Whether it's a frigate, uh, a cruiser, doesn't matter. Um, any size, any type, any race ship, uh, this will work. Alright, so let's discuss what transversal velocity is. Um, transversal velocity is the measure of speed of the target that is going around your ship. In other words, the higher the transversal velocity, the faster your turrets have to track. Let's think of it like this in simple terms. You're standing still in the middle of a field. You have a friend who's running around you in a big circle, say 50 feet away. You have a baseball, and you've got a video camera, and you want to film yourself of beating him in the head with a baseball. He's easy to hit at 50 feet running in a circle. Okay? Uh, you have range, you can lead him, you know, what, what have you. So, uh, not, no big whoop. Now, make him run the same speed, but put him five feet away from you. And again, you're standing still. That makes him really hard to hit. That is what transversal velocity is. Tracking enhancers increase your chance to hit someone like that who's really close to you. As you can see, this battleship that's coming up on me now, he's still a little bit far away, so I'm getting some hits on him but my hits are starting to taper off and again if you notice I'm at a complete standstill what I'm gonna do here in a second is show you exactly how I fix that little problem because as you can see now he's pulling it up right behind me and now the transversal is too high to the point where I am missing it's, uh, it's a little bit above 200 almost 250 right now uh, so at this point as you can see I'm throwing up the astral air ball uh, I can't hit him uh, he's too fast and I just have to sit here and just waste ammo uh, I don't like wasting ammo and I'm sure you guys don't either so I'm gonna show you how you fix that little problem right about now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click the target ship and using the camera I'm gonna look at him now if you look behind him and click in the direction he's traveling in this case I'm clicking just under him you'll notice how my ship is going to start flying in the same general direction. That's what we want. The transversal velocity, if you look at it now, is now well under 100. It's creeping down under 50, uh, close to 30 now. And the next shot that cycles around is going to blow him up. There you go. Uh, the same thing works with this guy. Uh, you'll notice how much faster I'm going to kill him. Uh, when you do it this way, it is literally like hitting something that is stationary. That's, in essence, what transversal velocity is. If you can bring that close to zero, it's like shooting a station. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Now, if you have the skill to do this right, you don't need tracking enhancers. You can use them on speed, maybe on cap recharge, or more mag stabs on your lows, whatever you, know, you need more utility for. So you're, in essence overcoming with your own personal skill the effect a module someone would have to pay money for uh, which allows you to be better in other areas uh, and as you can see I'm just railing on this guy now uh, hitting him for well over 3,000 per shot and this guy is uh, 8 kilometers away from me with 425 rails and this works on like I said it, it works against cruisers really well with the battleship but also if you're flying something smaller this allows you uh, to hit other people harder, uh, especially in PvP. Uh, give it a shot sometime. But that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.
This is my grave.